when I, when I review processes and I look at processes in finance and in procurement, there are sequential steps that, 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 uh, that are in place. There's a great deal of fantastic technology out, out there in the marketplace that, that uh, businesses can invest in. And I think when we talk about process optimization, I'm probably thinking more in terms of people optimization. Is actually helping people change their behaviours so, and uh, also from a system design perspective, making the solutions simple and easy to use. Uh, you know, I talk to folks that actually got uh, SAP in place and they have a no PO, no pay um, policy. And yet SAP is such a difficult solution to raise a purchase order that most people, in the human sense, will say, actually, I don't want to use this. If I can get away with it, I'll use something else and I'll go out and I'll buy on my own personal credit card and expense um, the transaction, or I'll wait for the invoice to come in, do it, raise a retrospective PO and go through that, pace, uh, um, that process because it's easier. And I think the human be humans, being what they are, are going to try to find the easiest route to get to an outcome that's, that's beneficial for the business. And I don't think that in general circumstances they're, they're actually circumventing the, the, the traditional um, processes. It's just they want a call to action very rapidly to get the best business benefit. And um, I think it's ironic that uh, businesses think that well, people when they're at home and they go on the internet and they do, they search the internet for the best possible prices. They're using the Amazons and all these other, other wonderful search tools and marketplaces and getting the best price is why businesses think that when, when the, that individual goes through the corporate front door, they leave that piece of the brain behind and throw it away and try and constrain them. And I think what, we're try what I'm trying to say is we need to put trust back into the center of business so that we actually can optimize our processes, can get, get a behavioral change for the ben business benefit. And it's all about shareholder value, we understand that. But it's also about improving customer service and it's also about managing your people intelligently and giving them um, sufficient trust that they can go about their business as they do at home. That's what I mean by process optimization.